I don't know where we are, Cousin Ed, but this place sure could use some darker elements. Can you tell me where we might be? <laughs> the truck boss show, you say? Well, this simply won't do it. Let's go add some cyanide to the coffee. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck was that? Anyways, we have a show to do. Bienvenidos on Truck Boss Show. Today we have Henry Reddick's show truck, rising insurance rates, maintenance minutes, a family's appreciation to America, Atri's survey results, New Jersey Jake Brakes ban, and vintage show truck. James Vamanos, it's showtime. <laughs> We know how much the truck shows were missed this year, but the pandemic couldn't keep us from catching up to some awesome trucks. Let's check out Henry Reddick and his cool show truck. How's it going? Well, of course everyone knows when it comes to vintage, old school, I love it. But today I have something pretty awesome. I got to meet an awesome friend, Henry. Yes, Thank you for being with us on the show. So Henry, I hear you are a legend. Well, some papers say. And I want to know why. What's the, what's the story behind the legend? Well, I've been doing it for about 50 years. Haul cattle. You haul cattle. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is your, your truck behind us. And I see that it has a name, Old Man. Yeah. Is this you? I'm old. You're old? Yeah. But you've been doing this for a long time. How old were you when you first started? Probably 19, 20. Oh my goodness, you started super young. Yeah. And what made you go into trucking? I hauled rock to start with, that was about two years, and then I got into cattle deal. And you've been doing it ever since? Yeah. And still doing it today? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I admire you for that because that's, that's, that's a lot of dedication and hard work. Mm -hmm. And with so much that's been going on in the trucking industry, like, nothing is the same. Things right. are different. Right. That's the reason I've saved with the old trucks. I mean, yeah, you still got to work on them, you know, but... And now, at what point do you feel like you may want to retire? If I, if I can get a health card. And that's when you're saying, I'm done. Yeah. So, so far you're gonna keep doing it. Yeah. Well, I, I see that you've done a good job and there's a reason why they call you a legend. Cause you're still doing it. Yeah. So can we check out your truck? Yeah. All right, well, let's go check it out. Okay. All right, Henry, so tell me about this old school truck. It's got a 34 way Caterpillar in here, 450 horse. It's got a 74 transmission. It's got some power, because if it's pulling this big old trailer with all them cattle, that's got power. It don't do bad. It don't do bad. So let's check out the inside. So tell me about the inside, Henry. Everything original still? All except for the transmission. Well, it looks pretty cool, because yeah. a lot of it's still original, other than, like you said, the transmission. Yeah. All right, let's check out the trailer. This is a big trailer, Henry. It's a 53 foot Merit. Spread axle. So you're the one that loads the cattle up yeah. with no trouble at all? Well, sometimes. I, I believe it, but listen, you know, you've been doing it and that's the reason why you've earned your name for so long. But, you know, of course, this is, it, it's very obvious this is what you love to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, Henry, thank you so much. This is Henry the legend, if you haven't heard. He drives this truck and it says old oh, man in the front you cannot miss him and if you do see him out and about make sure you just wave at him and let him know you saw him here on the truck ball show awesome truck thanks henry carlin what do you have for us isela the results are in and driver shortage topped atri's annual industry concern list this is the fourth year in a row that this issue has taken the top spot which goes to show a lot of drivers and motor carrier industry officials are worried about the lack of quality personnel and how it will impact them Driver retention was also on the list, so it's not just filling those empty trucks, it's keeping drivers in them. And a newcomer broke into the survey's top 10, insurance rates and availability. According to the more than 3,100 people who responded to the survey, nuclear verdicts and the aftermath of them have carriers and drivers on edge. Now it's time for our newest segment, the Maintenance Minute. Today's topic is going to be our recommended overhead adjustments. A lot of people don't think about it. They think I've got plenty of time. My truck's running good. There's nothing going on with it. If you don't get that overhead adjustment done in a timely manner, you can cause valve train damage. Not to mention the fact you're going to create a hazard to your truck and the runability of it. That's right, the performance. 
That truck isn't going to run like it's supposed to. It's not going to get the fuel economy it's supposed to. David, Rush Truck Center, maintenance in a minute. Always great info from David. Be sure to hit that follow and subscribe button so you never miss it. Now, Isela, tell us about this patriotic truck stop. A family out of Washington State who migrated to the U.S. from India back in 1999 have come up with a unique way to show America how grateful they are. Shree's Truck Stop is owned by Sanjay and his wife, Edka. In 05, they funded Shri Investments, having two businesses and recently adding their third one, naming it after their daughter, Shri Truck Stop, in Thorpe, which is just west of Ellensburg. It has a huge flag that cannot be missed. In a Facebook post, Shri stated, this flag will remain here as a symbol of our family's appreciation to America, even long after my family will be gone. So if you happen to be in the area, make sure to check it out. And I think the Truck Boss Show is gonna have to give them a little visit. Well, once we're able to travel again. Carlin? All right, so as I mentioned earlier, insurance rates are a growing concern. Many thought that the rates would go down a bit in 2020 thanks to people staying off the roads and accident rates dropping. However, that's not the case. According to transportation law and insurance firms, while accidents and congestion are down, the overall insurance rate trend is on the rise and unfortunately will continue to rise until there is some sort of reform to prevent nuclear verdicts. There's an interesting article about this trend in Transport Topics. You can find the link in the comments below, so be sure to check it out. Now, Isela, what else do we have for them? Now, New Jersey is not playing when it comes to Jake Brakes. They have, a, they have proposed a new law in Heldon, New Jersey. It is expected to pass this week. Local residents have had enough of the noise that is caused by Jake Brakes. Signs were already posted on two roads near the quarry to alert drivers of the pending ban. If the law passes, drivers who are first-time violators would face a fine of $150 and up to 10 days in jail. So make sure you slow it down if you're in Jersey. You don't wanna to go to jail. Carlin? Now this was one of my favorite trucks from the Bust and Knuckle Truck Show, a remodeled 1950s antique show truck. Check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? Carlin here with the Truck Boss Show. We are here in Tonkawa, Oklahoma at the Bust and Knuckle Truck Show. And right now we are standing with Marty. And Marty is about to tell us about this awesome mobster looking truck what no. you got here sir what is this are you gonna take me out back and knock my kneecaps out what's going on <laughs> 1955 kenworth oh very nice very nice real Thank classic you. this thing looks brand new so did you build it up what's what's going on what's well, the thanks. story yeah we spent 10 years putting it together tried to keep it looking as original as we could but still wanted to be able to get out and run it's got a later model drivetrain became mm -hmm. three four hundred five and four and 370 rear we spoiled ourselves too. We got power yeah. steering and some air conditioning in right. there and right. air ride seats and all those real plus The creature things. comforts, yeah, right? Absolutely, right. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, well, come to, let's take a look at the interior yeah. here. And just tried really hard to keep it looking original. That's the factory color on the inside. And that was the fanciest interior you could get in 1955. Does it still ride pretty well? Or it's is right. it a little, little bumpy? Yeah, it rides pretty good, you know? I mean, it's. It is single axle and, and everybody wants to know why it's so long. Well, actually I shortened it up three feet. Oh, wow. Um, the truck had a 26 foot flatbed on mm -hmm. the back of it. Always a single axle from the factory. Originally had a torsion bar rear suspension under it from Kenworth, of course, and uh, put some later model air ride under it. Right. Now I want to know what inspired this. <laughs> Are you coming out here and preparing meals on these cutting boards well, or what's you can going do on? whatever y'all want to do, but uh, <laughs> you know, I just, I really, I just wanted to try something different and try and get something that would be a little more period correct and a piece of polished stainless or aluminum tread plate or whatever the case may be. Well, I'm not very good with wood. Every time I try and weld two boards together, they burn up. But right. we managed, uh, with the help of my son-in-law, to get through that, and it, lo it looks pretty decent. It We're does. Pretty happy with it, it does. I, I mean, I, it's just a little different. It you know? is different. It's very eye-catching, and it's very clean-looking. You. you know, Thank it, you. it, it, not a piece of wood on the rest of the truck, but when you get right here, it doesn't. You don't really are like, oh, that's just odd. It feels, it fits right in. It's perfect. Thanks. So, well, Thanks. thank you, sir. We appreciate it, and you Thanks. guys enjoy the show. Well, it looks like we're still here, Cousin It. <laughs> You're right. Guess we'll let him know what happens next week. What's going to go on? <laughs> well, Cousin It said that next week we're going to be having Matt and Joey in My Trucker Life Part 2. What up? <laughs> and he said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Why did we do this, Cousin It? <laughs> oh, because you're the boss.
Cousin Ant, I think since we're still here, we should have a dance off with Cousin Femur. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, does his arm work? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. That'll work. <laughs> Tell you, I'll never make it to Hollywood, guys. Okay.